This idea of above and below helps scientists map our place in the galaxy. For example, by studying how stars and gas move relative to the galactic plane, astronomers can trace the history of star formation, supernovae, and the distribution of dark matter in the Milky Way. In fact, the Milky Way itself isn't a perfectly flat disk either. It has a central bulge, spiral arms, and even a warped structure that causes the outer edges to curve slightly. Around the galaxy is the galactic halo, a roughly spherical region that contains older stars, star clusters, and possibly large amounts of dark matter. This halo extends far above and below the main disk of the galaxy, showing once again that up and down are only meaningful if we agree on a reference point. So next time you picture the solar system, try not to see it as a flat chart on a classroom wall. Instead, imagine it as a living, moving structure, surrounded by layers upon layers of cosmic material stretching upward and downward into the unknown. 